total six man tag. Next to take place here today. Submissions on the man. Nice counter crucifix pin. Not enough. Venturero's got to make sure he doesn't make big mistakes. Got to avoid taking damage by Tiakuza. It's a battle of aggression. And indeed, it is a test of endurance. Injured him. Put him out of wrestling for over nine months straight. Swat Kid is back and he fought for revenge. And tonight he has a chance. Spin kick to the crowd. Swat Kid, cross body press. He's doing a phenomenal job in there so far. You wouldn't have even known he was injured. trouble here standing up watch out Coco Lee's on his back body dropped him to the floor SWAT Cat's got nine lives for real and he can SWAT anyone another crazy eye flying body attack beautiful drop kick down goes Coco Lee to the outside <laughs> New matchup in Fairnell versus Maverick. A heavyweight slugfest might on, be ongoing here. Quick shoulder tackle. This Maverick is powerful. In Fairnell is not small by any stretch. Darn near 300 pounds. Nice arm track right there. Maverick, the technical, unorthodox style. Independent minded, free thinking, an animal in that ring. But in fair now is ferocious. No sign of slot cat anywhere. Backsplash there by in fair now. At this moment, it might be three on two for the rest of this match. So should be mentioned in there now wrestled earlier and didn't have much luck there either. Nice drop kick by Maverick. Maverick taking over the match. Oh, Yakuza interrupts. Maverick's progression. The rules know that they have to use their multiple man advantage whenever possible on Maverick. He's big, he's tough, he's strong. From the back to the front, Wayne 
attacks all the body parts of Maverick right now. The Rudos have booted Maverick out of the ring. And now, Swat Man and Adventure Man are in the ring against the odds. since the fall from earlier. Coco Liso trying to control Aventurero. Quick snapping elbow drop. Aventurero rolls to the outside. Coco Liso is an evil deceptive individual. He's crazy. He's a despicable clown. His partners aren't necessarily friendly either. And if you're up to Coco Liso, he'd end Swarcat's career for good this time. In fair now, again, too big. Oh, has he, he's had enough, come on. Just stop it. Rulos roll the ring. Maverick on one side, Aventurero on the other, but Aventurero got attacked from behind. How can anyone survive three against one odds like this? the back of the venture and as he rolls to the outside. Ayasa Kokoliso and Yakuza working over Maverick. Swatkhead. And a side headlock by it there now. Maverick's down. Swatkhead is down. Yakuza's trying to rip his mask off. For, you don't even have that in his career. If you rip his mask be terminated for good. This is not a bad person's mask man. And in three weeks time, someone's mask is on the line. And one of these six have to forfeit their mask in three weeks on October 15th here at the Eagles Club. Local Iso, guillotine try. Aventurero sent to the floor. Now he got crazy stuff going on inside and outside the ring. Maybe not. The Rudolphs are all in the ring at once. Slide cat in the corner. The back splash by Coco Liso and in fear now. Yakuza attacks. Slide cat down on his hands and knees as he rolls to the outside. He had people from the front and the back going after him. This is why Akus is the franchise of the LLT Rudo team. The business acumen, top notch veteran, master teacher, and legend of Lucha Libre. Well connected. He knows where to find stars. He knows where to get the most powerful. Style Lucha Libre and Pro Wrestling to eliminate people. Everyone's taking turns and the wheels are just swarming everybody. The veteran instincts of Yakuza with the submission skill, with the deceptive speed and power, as a rule breaker in and out of the ring. Nobody is safe in LLT when you're up against Yakuza.
Let's go.